Hey guys, it's Amber. So today I'm going to be doing a little review on a product that I have recently fallen in love with. This is the Urban Decay Vice Lip Bond. When I tell you guys this stuff is amazing, I mean it is amazing. I have tried so many liquid lipsticks. So many of them make your lips dry and cakey or they get like rings or they like flake or they just sting like this does none of that. So this is in the color shock value and I am obsessed. My Ulta store has been out of all the other colors that I wanted, but I think they're going to be restocking soon. And when they do, I'm getting them. I'm getting them. I am because I have worn this to work so consistently because it looks so good. So I thought it'd be fun to do a makeup look kind of with some of my favorite Urban Decay products and use this. And then I did film a little insert where I put it on at the beginning of the day for work and kind of show you how it wears. So that way you guys can see how the product actually performs. So I'm just going to go through my makeup fairly quickly so I can just kind of focus on some of my favorite products. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. And I really like this foundation because it's a medium coverage. It does have about medium wear but I don't feel like it gets really cakey. It works really well with the All Nighter Gripper uh, Primer. I don't have any of that right now, so I'm just using some that I have. But I do find that it can settle into pores a little bit if you don't use something to apply. I don't like it freshly applied with my hands. So I have the Stay Naked Foundation and also the Fix Powder. And in both of these, I'm the shade 40NN. I can actually start using this again because for a while, it was just way too light for me because I was little tanner from the summer. I don't feel like this is anything like the All Nighter Foundation. If you've tried that one, that one tends to oxidize a little bit more and it's a lot thicker. This one is so much more of a natural finish. And I don't find that it oxidizes at all. It's definitely my favorite Urban Decay foundation. All right, so here is the finish with just one layer on it. It definitely still has a skin-like finish, whereas then I can see little bits of imperfections. Like I said, more medium, not a full coverage foundation. If you had freckles and you just wanted to kind of like add some coverage, but you didn't want to cover them up completely, this would be a great option. And then I can just go in with my concealer of choice and I can, you know, add a little bit of extra where I feel like I need it. I have some NARS creamy concealer. I feel like this one pairs pretty well with it. But if you like having coverage in specific areas, but you don't like the heaviness everywhere, I feel like it's a good fit. Fair amount of redness because I do have rosacea. I do still get occasional flare-ups and a little bit of acne. Like seriously, I'm almost 40. Like, does this still have to be a thing, right? <laughs> so the Fix, the Stay Naked powder, you actually can use it on its own, but I find it just gives me that next little layer of coverage if I'm wanting a little more. They pair really well together. Like seriously, just that makes such a difference. I just added a touch of blush and did my brows with the Goof Proof Brow in number two. And next I'm gonna move on to priming my eyes. So I like the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I actually like the anti-aging one. Not that I really feel like it does that much for like anti-aging purposes, but just the fact that it has a little bit of color to it. So I feel like it does kind of like smooth your eyelids a little bit. So I think it's good for those little fine lines as you start to age and just kind of help kind of smooth those out a tiny bit. Give a little cover, give a little coverage if you have some discoloration. I only have a couple Urban Decay palettes now. I just have the Cherry and the Prince palette. Because I'm gonna go bold on the lips, I'm gonna do something really light on the eyes, but I'm just gonna kind of focus with this one. This is called Alphabet Street and then Raspberry Beret and just do some of that really lightly so that the, some of the lips can be the focus of the show. As I'm trying to get back into filming, I uh, got new lighting. I'm not sure I love it. It's, uh, it's throwing some weird shadows. So it's, it's making things look a little weird and I'm gonna have to play around with it. But the only way to kind of know is just to get in there and do it. I'm just using a little bit of this matte from the Cherry palette to kind of set that.
And I'm going to go into this turn on, put a little bit of that on the lid. That's pretty. The light shade in the Prince palette is like a bright white. I just like, yeah, that's a little, little more than I want. This just gives a really nice kind of natural pinky look. Okay, so I'm a big fan of the Urban Decay Glide On Liners, but they are super creamy. And if I don't have a really steady hand, it can go from like zero to hundred real quick. And I'm like that meme with the raccoon. So I have to be careful with them and make sure they're sharpened. And because I don't want the eyes to be too bold, I'm just gonna line my upper waterline. And then I find if I just close my eye, it just transfers just a little bit. See, and it just gets like the right amount and I don't have to worry about it being too much. And let's do lashes. I wasn't a big fan of the perversion mascara because for whatever reason it smudged on me, even though it's not supposed to hooded eye problems. So I like to actually tip my face back a little bit when I do this. Cause then I feel like the mist like falls on me where I feel like if I spray it, sometimes it falls down or if I go back, it kind of, I don't know. That's just my theory. I'm sticking to it. All right. Now for this, which is so fun. Okay. So shake, shake, shake it up. So it has a little play time. So if you put it on, it's creamy right away. You can kind of adjust it. You know, perfect it a little bit. And then it'll start to set. All right, I'm going to go do my hair so you guys can actually see how we look all finished. And I'll be right back. All right, so now it's dried down. no transfer. This stuff legitimately lasted through an entire work day. I ate, I talked, I drank, I did all the things, did not come off. It's also PDA proof from experience, does stay on. <laughs> My boyfriend was actually like, that's weird, like it doesn't come off. <laughs> but let me show you kind of what it looked like before I started work and how it was at the end of the day. All right, guys, so I just applied. I just shaked and applied this, and I'm about to head in for work for the day. I just want to give you guys a close-up look. I'll show you what it looks like after. I just finished lunch. It's still on. All right, guys, so it is eight hours later from when I started my shift, and you guys can see. My foundation is not so great. I got hair on my face, hashtag hairstylist. Um, but like, seriously, there's like no weird ring. It's not cracking. Like, seriously, I'm obsessed. It doesn't make your lips sting. It's not like lip sense where it like burns them. And it's easy to take off. I literally just use makeup remover and it whoop, comes right off. So yeah, All I'm right, pretty guys, obsessed. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Again, this is the Urban Decay Lip Bond. It's awesome. They have it in natural colors. They have it in bright colors. I'm obsessed. I love how it looks on my face. It lasts all day. What else can I say? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!